woman named Shirley Teeter sues Project Veritas for defamation. She loses, and a federal judge orders her to pay us for our legal expenses, calling her, quote, less than fully candid with the court. Teeter, who is represented by Jonathan Sasser, Ralph Streza, and four other attorneys, lost that initial case in 2019. We submitted a motion to recuperate our legal costs, but a clerk of court denied that motion. Then, just last week, Chief U.S. District Judge Martin Reidinger overruled that decision and ordered Shirley Teeter to pay our expenses, calling her claim, quote, so weak that it did not survive motion to dismiss, unquote, after the plaintiff presented their evidence. Judge Reidinger noted that Teeter was, quote, represented by six attorneys in this matter, all of whom were from outside of this district, and one of whom was from out of state, unquote. This was inconsistent with the claim that Teeter was, quote, indigent and therefore cannot pay the costs of litigation herself, unquote. The federal judge also expressed bewilderment over why a baseless lawsuit was brought by several allegedly pro bono attorneys from around the country, one of whom was quick to protest, without being asked, that, quote, were not paid by the Hillary Clinton campaign or by the Democratic Party or anything like that, unquote. The federal judge remarked, quote, Mr. Sasser only raised more questions by his unsolicited statement specifically disclaiming that the lawsuit was being funded by the Clinton campaign or the Democratic Party. Mr. Sasser's rush to assure the court that certain political organizations are not involved begs the question of whether some other organization was involved. It sure does. We just might know the answer, too. In a deposition taken a year after Teeter sued us, Progressive political strategist Lauren Windsor confessed she and her attorneys had previously coordinated with Teeter's attorneys. Have you spoken with Miss Teeter? No. Have you met? Have you emailed with Miss Teeter? I believe I emailed her attorney. It would have been Ralph Streza. This isn't the only time we defeated a lawsuit with Lauren Windsor's fingerprints all over it. Steve Wentz sued us, he lost, and he paid for it. Kimberly Corber sued us multiple times, she lost every lawsuit, and she still owes us over $180,000. In fact, in Lauren Windsor's own words from an email we obtained during the discovery process from all this litigation, she wrote, quote, It's an opportunity to take down James O'Keefe for good. We gotta know some rich guys who want bragging rights. Well, are those, quote, rich guys going to now pay Shirley Teeter's legal bills? Now that Teeter's lost and a federal judge has ordered Teeter to pay James O'Keefe $16,000? Stay tuned, because later this year we'll go head-to-head -head with Lauren Windsor and Bob Kramer of Democracy Partners in a Washington, D.C. federal courtroom. Moral of the story, sue us for the wrong reasons and you will pay.